In this video, we're going to take a look at solving systems of equations with elimination. Now, in this particular video, we're going to stress the idea that you want to have opposites stacked on top of each other. And in looking at this, when you do this particular problem, you've got a negative over a negative. Those aren't opposites. You've got a negative over a positive, which is a clue that that's probably the ones you want to change so that you can get those to be opposite stacked. And then once you add going down, they're going to eliminate. So I started working this problem out, and I'd like to share it with you. My whole idea or my key thinking is to get opposites stacked. So I looked at this first part, and I said, you know what? Let's multiply everything by 7. If I make this 7 times larger, and this 7 times larger, and this 7 times larger, then if I make this 2 times larger down here, I'll end up with a negative 14 over a positive 14. So let's pick up where I left off. So I multiplied this by 7, I had negative 28. This by 7, I had negative 14. This by 7, I had 98. And then this by 2, I have negative 20x. This by 2, I have 14y. And this by 2, I have negative 50. Then I'm going to add going down, because right here is the, is the bingo. This is what I wanted. I've got a negative 14 over a positive 14. That's awesome, because when I add these, they're going to eliminate each other. So this is going to give me negative 48. Um, x equals, and then 98 take away 50 is 48. And then I divide both sides by negative 48, because this is multiply. To get rid of multiply, we divide, and x equals negative 1. Now, as soon as I have x being negative 1, then I need to use that and substitute it back into one of these problems. I'll just go ahead and substitute it back in the original right there. And then I've got negative 4 times negative 1 minus 2y equals 14. Negative times a negative is a positive 4. Minus 2y equals 14. Subtract 4 on both sides. Negative 2y equals 10. Divide by negative 2. And y equals negative 5. My answer is negative 1 for x, negative 5 for y. And that's the two points or that is the one point where those two lines cross. Uh, that's their point of intersection that solves the system as negative 1, negative 5. All right, now that was kind of quick, but I feel like if you understand the idea of getting opposite stacked, you, just, you can pick the numbers you multiply by so to make that happen. And then add going down, and things will eliminate. You'll have one letter solved, plug it back in, get the other letter. All right, so what I'd like you to do is take a look at the second question on the sheet, which is this one, number 20. And you can go ahead and pause the video now here, and I'll come back and I'll show you the solutions. So go ahead and pause it, and then we'll show you what it is. Okay, welcome back. Here is the work that it takes to solve this question correctly. Um, it's basically where, okay, I'm looking at this problem. I don't see any opposites anywhere. Here's positives over positives, negatives over negatives. Ugh, that's not good on the variable side. So what I had to do is I had to pick a negative. For me personally, I kind of like to get rid of the y values. I don't know, I just is something I do. So I made it times negative 5 because I know that that would make this positive 10. Then I took this times 2 because that would make that negative 10. I was working to try to get a positive 10 over a negative 10. And so that's what I accomplished here. I have a positive 10 over a negative 10. And these now are 5 times larger. These are all 2 times larger. And then add going down, and I end up with negative 5x equals 10. Divide by negative 5, x equals negative 2. And as soon as I had x equaling negative 2, I put it back up here in the original problem. So I took that negative 2, and I put it right there. And then once I plugged it in, I'm showing my work over here. Plugged in the negative 2, and solving for y, and y is negative 4. So the final answer solution would be negative 2, comma negative 4, and that would be an ordered pair point where those two lines intersect. So you should hopefully have some idea now how to work through those better. Good luck.